Uh, what's the most surprising thing that you found on your on your journey for the last seven years playing playing this character? I think the most surprising thing was just making WandaVision. I think that was a shock because it was also television on a streaming service that um, didn't exist until a couple years ago or a year and a half ago now. <laughs> so I think that was something that was completely surprising. Um, and the fact that I'm still here, I didn't sign up for um, nine movies or whatever. So I, um, I, I have, I just keep coming back, and I'm always surprised every time. Have you been surprised by the reaction to One Division? Because people have have really taken to that, sh took to that show, and it really kind of pushed the boundaries as to what Marvel could do and what the characters could do, and in this kind of new new format. Are you still, still kind of pinching yourself the fact that it's been embraced so so well by fans? Completely. I, I, I think. Anytime as an actor, you have something that even just like does remotely well, you're surprised because um, you're just so used to rejection. Um, and so that I still I still feel um, really moved by and not moved, but um, shocked as well um, from the reaction. And uh, we, we really I, I, in having a good time doing our job and really having a joyful experience is isn't always consistent and so to have such a joyful experience also have such a positive outcome was um was fulfilling as well i keep trying to uh refer back to other films as well different elements um so that there's evolution but there also could be um things that fans would enjoy and i think we saw some of that in wandavision um, and it does continue to evolve, especially the, I think we're in this space with her finally having this confidence of being the Scarlet Witch and fulfilling her destiny of being the Scarlet Witch, this mythic character. And, um, and so there's a new sense of, of ownership of what she does in a way. Um, and we see a bit of that in Endgame, I think as well, but I do think there's, there's, um, there's there is a new confidence in her her physicality, but we basically all just look like fools while we're filming. <laughs> Are you still hopeful that somewhere down the line that the immortal three words or the Doctor Doom stuff or the Magneto stuff. Are you hopeful that maybe one day paths will cross in, in a little bit different way? The, the MCU kind of does these. Things? Yes. I mean, I, I hope so. I. I do. I'm, I'm excited for all the crossovers in the future. I do think this film opens up lots of opportunities with the multiverse. Um, but yeah, the immortal words are. I mean, those those. To, I would love to be able to say them in some capacity to make it work for the MCU. Um, again, I I never know what we're doing next, <laughs> so I'm always just kind of like in these interviews, just saying whatever sounds cool to me as well. Um, but uh, yeah, it's. Not in anyone's control besides Kevin Feige.